welcome. I hope you watched my previous video where I went over my code, uh, Godot First Person Shooter. It's just a very basic uh, project with minimal code and scenes to have a third, or sorry, first person controls in Godot. I'm going to show you how now to import a Doom level. Now, if you just go online and Google Doom level whatever and 3D model, you can find 3D models of the levels that people have exported from editors online. I have put one online for you. I've downloaded it. Uh, the main problem with that is a lot of them, the, the scaling was wrong. I would have to resize it to fit the game properly. And the textures uh, sometimes were there, sometimes weren't. So what I did was I grabbed one of those uh, exports and I compiled it up and I put it up on archive.org. Now, be aware that the textures and these levels are under copyright, so I don't know how long it's gonna be there. There'll be a link in the description to everything we go over today, but you can download the models from there. You can download my project from my GitLab page, GitLab forward slash melex1000. Just search for Godot first person shooter there, and then you can just click this and click download the zip file. Now, I'm gonna go through everything pretty quickly here, but again, there's notes, and actually at the end I'll show you a script I wrote to um, uh, get this all going pretty quickly. But here we go. I'm in my shell, I'm gonna move into a directory I have here. There's nothing in this directory. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go download uh, my Godot project. So again, if you go to my Godot page, this is the link here. And we will download that. So now you can see, whoops, that zip file is there. I'm going to unzip that file, which unzips the project. Next, we're gonna grab my uh, object of the E1M1, so episode one, map one of Doom from archive.org. So we're gonna download that and put it in a E1M1 map zip. So again, that's from this website. Again, links to everything in the description. You can see the 3D view right here when you go to the web page. but we'll download uh, the 3D model and all the textures that's scaled properly for my project. Once we have that, we can unzip it. So we're going to unzip the E1M1 zip file. Where are we gonna put it? We're gonna put it in the project. We're gonna put it in the maps folder. So there we go there. Now I can open up Godot uh, and open up my project. So you have to have Godot installed. So Godot 3 in this case, and I'm gonna just point it at the project that we just downloaded. Boom. It's going to now import those assets, the Doom level and textures. You can see them under here under map E1M1. You can see all the textures. And then we have two 3D models. We have an object file and a DAE file. DAE file is more of a whole scene. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Uh, and you can use either one of them, but I'm gonna show you the, the process for each one. So I'm gonna click scene, new scene. I'm gonna say it's a 3D scene. And I'm just gonna call it E1M1. At this point, I'm just gonna grab my E1M1 OBJ, so object, a 3D object file. I'm gonna pull it in here. It's gonna import it along with the assets. Now we wanna make sure that it's centered. So we're gonna choose that object, uh, and then we're going to say transform, and these should all be zeros. You can set it to all zeros by hitting that refresh button. And again, I've exported this specifically so that 000 is right at the starter, uh, player start position. At this point, I'm gonna choose our E1M1 here. I'm gonna say instance child scene. I'm going to import my player. Now, if I hit F6 this time, it's going to ask us to save it. I'm going to save it under maps. I'll save it as E1M1 scene. It will start up this scene, but we will fall through the floor because we haven't set up any collision yet. So go ahead and close that. And what we're going to do is now when you're actually creating a game, you want to be a little more tedious when it comes to your collision detections. You don't want to have too many because it can slow down the machine, but you want to have uh, the proper amount that you don't walk through anything or clip through anything. But we're going to do for this, this is a very basic map, and we're just going to choose the object here, make sure it's the OBJ object we imported. We're going to go to Mesh, and we're going to create Tri Mesh and a static body. That will create a static body and the collision and set it to basically wrap around that model. Now, if I hit F6, you can see we are in the game. Now, uh, when I exported this, I, I got most of the textures. There's a couple of the textures that didn't quite export for some reason. And I, I did it one or, once or twice just to check. Um, and I don't know, the, the first time I did it, I had all the textures. And then when I uploaded it and then downloaded it again, I realized some of the textures were missing. Uh, so I don't, don't know if they got lost in the upload. Also, doors, this is not, I don't, this is not a full game. This is just the, the first person uh, movements, controls, and camera. Uh, in Doom, Doors are just walls. 
uh, that had been lowered down. So I just deleted the doors for now. Again, uh, this is just you know proof of concept, something you play around with. But we've got 99% of the level imported as far as the level itself, not all the objects, all the enemies and barrels and whatnot. There's another door I deleted. Uh, we can go all the way outside here. There's no sky dome, so it just has like a default sky texture there. And we can go all the way back up the stairs. The stairs are a little high for me to walk up, so I have to jump up them. That's something you can fix with your collision detections there. The exit signs are missing, and there's our exit. Of course, we can't click it because it's it's just a wall texture there. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that. So that was that. Uh, one other thing we can do is like if I start this off again, hitting F6, I'm facing the wrong way. I can choose my player, and I can say transform, rotate on the Y, 180. And now if I hit F6, I'll be facing out uh, the way you would be normally in the Doom game. Uh, so yeah, so we have that. Another option, let's say you wanted to use the DAE file. Double click it and say new inheritance. And there we go, it has imported it. Again, we wanna make it, give it collision detection, so we're gonna choose the object within the scene. We're gonna say mesh, and in this case, again, I'm just doing the quick try mesh with static body. You may or may not wanna do that depending on your level. It's something you need to, to decide for yourself. Um, and then we'll also, import the uh, child instance of player. And if we hit F6, it will ask us to save it. I'll just call it E1M1 underscore scene. And here we go. It has imported. It actually has the textures that we were missing in the one, but you'll notice that uh, I, there's, everything's like this shiny, glossy look. And that's just gotta be a materials thing, the way it's uh, was exported or imported. Um, but uh, not all DAEs are gonna show up like this. Uh, I'm assuming it's just the way the model had ex exported and uh, you can mess with materials a little bit more to get rid of that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that you could import uh, the DAE file and it will have all the textures there even though the materials are funky. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, that was too much for you. If, you. if you couldn't follow along, well you can go back and watch the video and pause it when you need to. Uh, whenever someone tells me I go too fast in my videos, uh, I wonder why they don't just pause the video. But as I said, if I'm going to, I can quit out of this, let that close. Uh, I'll move into this directory where I have a script, which I've put up online on Pastebin. I'll put this again in the link in the description, which will go through making a directory, moving that directory, downloading and exporting everything that we I did in the first steps of this. So I already have that here. I call the script doom in Godot.sh. You can cat that out. And uh, if you download that and make it executable, we can do Doom and Godot. And it's gonna download my project, download the 3D model map, extract it all, and open the project. So if you already have Godot installed and unzip installed, there you go, you're done with that. Now, again, you can just uh, go to maps, or sorry, uh, yeah, maps E1M1, go down to E1M1, and you either go with object or just double click the DAE, give it collision detection, and put in our player, save it, and you're good to go. So that's how quick you can get this up and running, at least with the DAE, or you can, again, use the OBJ and get those textures fixed, the materials fixed. So again, just a little proof of concept, something to play with. We're gonna get more at uh, different ways to import and different models we can import and how to uh, work on the collision for them and how to design levels in future videos. So if you are more interested in this project, uh, be sure to subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I thank you for watching. Please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. There's a link to the, that in the description as well as a link to the notes for this project. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.